hello guys so it's been a pretty long time you know i was busy with some stuff and even i was out of a station so i did not make any video related to any technical stuff right so today i thought of you know let's make one video uh, for one programming concept in, in core java and it is a very important program so usually when we go for an interview uh, it's very important questions people usually they will ask you what is sorting and what is bubble sorting right so as we as we know that the sorting basically is used to uh, sort a object or a sort a primitive data type right so generally uh, they will give you one array and they will ask you to write the sorting sorting algorithm right <clears throat> so we need to understand any programming we need to understand how to write the program first right and what is sorting and what is bubble sorting we need to understand so today my focus will be bubble sort and in in next video i'll be only focusing on some you know we have around uh, mainly you know three kind of sorting right so quick sort bubble sort insertion sort like merge sort yes we have merge sort today i'll be focus on bubble sort right so to do that what we need to do first right how we need to analyze the problem first we need to think how we need to analyze the problem so i have one you know uh, i have one diagram which i have made which i will show to you how to approach the problem assume that this is your array 5 1 12 minus 5 and 16 so this is your array right now you need to sort this array so if you look at now 5 1 12 minus 5 16 is not a sorted array right now it is not a sorted array this we need to sort it how we will do that to do that we need to analyze the array like how we can sort that so if you look at here if i if i compare 5 and 1 yes 5 greater than 1 right so we need to swap this if if 5 is greater than 1 here in this index 0 the array value is 5 and index 1 the array value is 1 so when we compare it this 5 is greater so this we need to swap it right this we need to swap it so when we swap it 5 will come here 5 will come here and 1 will come here after swapping right again when 5 will come here we need to compare 5 and 12 but 5 is not greater 12 is greater so 5 at index 1 5 will be as it is and 12 will be as it is because it is a not greater right again we need to compare this 12 and minus 5 so when we compare that yes 12 is greater right 12 is greater compared to minus 5 so we need to swap here we need to swap here and again when we swap it 12 will come here 12 will come here and minus 5 will come here now we need to compare 12 and 16 yes 16 is greater so we don't have to swap it now i will explain you in in a deep so that you'll understand and you'll understand how to write the logic for that right without mugging it without mugging it you'll understand how to write how to write the logic for bubble sort right as i said this is my original array right this is my original array so i will just give one color to this so i'll just give this okay so better i will use this so, okay sorry yeah this will not work yeah so this is my original array my original array is 5 1 12 minus 5 and 16 so first what we need to do we need to understand here the concept we need to compare 5 with 1 right we need to compare 5 with 1 if 5 is greater if 5 is greater swap it right if 5 is greater swap it so when we we will do first iteration what happens is we'll compare 5 with 1 right yes 5 is greater so we need to swap it now 1 will come here 1 will come here and 5 will come here right because we are swapping it so when we are running a for loop basically what happens is 
we need to swap it now all right so i'll give some color yeah so i just swapped one data here right i just swapped one data here because five came here and one came here right i'm just comparing it five to one so if you look at uh if you look at one thing is the moment we are we are comparing it what happens in the memory this array will get rearranged right one will come here five will go here and remaining will be as it is now since we are running a for loop right since we are running a for loop to the length of this array right why we are running a for loop to the length of this array because we need to sort complete array right we need to sort the complete array and as we know that the array length will give the size of the array right so that it will be easy for us to run the for loop now we have compared 5 1 and we have sorted so this is my you know first you know iteration i mean first iterations at i is equal to 0 right at i is equal to 0 now i am running a loop so now i is equal i i is a 1 so now we need to see here in the second when i is equal to 1 i'll compare this 5 to 12 but here 5 is smaller and 12 is greater so here swap is not required right here swap is not required so what i am doing basically i am comparing 5 with 12 but here swap is not required right here swap is not required so i will not do anything after that i will compare i will compare what i will do is i will i will check with uh 12 so if you look at this third iterations what i will do is basically i will check for the iterations between uh 12 and minus 5 right 12 and minus 5 so here we need to understand how this comp comparison works so we will check for so this is my second iterations here i did not do any things now in these iterations in these iterations what i will do is i need to check for 12 and minus 5 so here I need to check for 12 and minus 5. Yes, minus 5 is a small. So minus 5 will come here. Minus 5 is come here and 12 will come here. Now, now in my next iterations, what I need to do is I need to compare 12 and 16, right? 12 and 16. I need to compare it. But 12 is a small, 16 is a greater. So I don't have to do anything, right? So when we ran a for loop, for the length of the array this is my final outcome right this is my final outcome right i am running a for loop you know i am running a for loop to the length of the array so this is my final outcome outcome right so basically what i am doing that is so if i if i have to write the logic i can write here run a for loop okay run a for loop whatever i have done is and i is equal to zero i less than uh, assume that it's array dot length and i plus plus and so this is this is just i'm writing a dummy code okay and so what inside that there should be one if conditions so this is just a dummy code guys this we need to understand so what i am doing basically is i am comparing with if array of i what i am doing that is if array of i <coughs> is greater than array of i plus one array of i plus one if it is greater then right swap logic right right swap logic but here we can see that one drawback right what a drawback i am seeing here is even after this complete for loop so this is basically i did a running a for loop even after this my this final array if you look at this final array this is not sorted right this final array is not sorted if you look at this final array this is not sorted 1 5 minus 5 12 and 16 this this final array is not sorted right so we need to think again we need to think again 
how this array will get sorted because even after running my first for loop this array is not sorted now what we need to do is basically again what we need to do is we need to compare 1 with 5 5 with minus 5 5 minus 5 with 12 and 12 with 16 so again i need to compare with the array right again i need to compare with the array so in one comparison my array is not getting shorter so again i need to compare 1 with 5 5 with minus 5 minus 5 with 12 and 12 with 16 and again i need to see that right so if you look at this is my second iteration right this is my <coughs> second iteration and this was my first iteration right so in second iterations also what we need to do is we need to compare our array right we need to compare the array again right so which means only this for loop only single for loop running to the length of the array will not serve our purpose because we already ran a for loop and my final array this array is not sorted so what we need to do is again we need to uh, we need to run one more for loop which will compare each element of the array right again we need to run one more for loop now to do that to do that i will explain you how to do that right so again in second iterations what we need to do is again we need to compare so assume that this is the this is the outcome after the first iterations right this is the outcome this is the outcome after the first iterations this we need to you know keep in the mind this is the outcome after first iterations and sorry guys this will be black and i'll just change that here yeah so this is the iterations uh, you know this is the outcome after first iterations now if i run my compare logic again if i'll compare 1 with 5 yes 5 is greater i don't have to do anything again what i will do is i will compare so so yeah so what we need to do is if one greater than five right so basically yes five is greater so i don't have to do anything i don't have to do anything so first what i did is compared one and five now this is after comparing this is my array now i need to compare five minus five yes minus five is just small so minus five will come here right minus five will come here and five will come here so what basically i'm comparing this right so basically what i'm doing that is jet so basically if you, if you look at here i'm comparing this right so <clears throat> if this is a small this will come here now if i'll compare 5 to 12 yes 12 is big so i don't have to do anything again in next iterations if i'll compare 12 with 16 again i don't have to do anything so so basically uh, in first iterations what happened is i compared this right so okay i'll do one thing i will i'll just add a table so that you know i can easily explain you guys right and again so first time i did this compared and it's got replaced then i compared this again changes are not required and then i compared this so changes are not required here also right now this is my this is my outcome after second iteration so if you look at here even after second iteration right even after second iterations my array is not sorted right even after no uh, yes even after my second iterations my array is not sorted why it is not sorted because this minus 5 has to come here right minus 5 has to come here to do that since minus 5 has to come here to do that we, what we need to do is we need to we need to compare the entire array one more time right 
again we need to compare 1 with minus 5 minus 5 to 5 5 to 12 and 12 to 16 again we need to compare right though though here comparison is not required still we need to compare why we need to compare because the moment this minus 5 will get replaced here and 1 will come here then again we need to compare 1 with 5 again assume that assume that this was not 1 assume that this was not 1 this was 10 assume that this was 10 so minus 5 will come here 10 will come here again this 10 5 we need to compare so again 10 will come here 5 will come here so which means again we need to do one one more round round of competition right again we need to do one more round of competition to make sure that after swapping after swapping the array data it is not impacting it is not impacting the sorted array right we need to make sure that so this is my final array right this is my outcome after second iterations now what we need to do we need to compare this we need to compare this and this is my uh, outcome sorry this is my outcome now I'll copy this and right now after that I need to compare this right so no swapping is required then I need to compare this so no swapping is required and then I need to compare this so no swapping is required now <coughs> once we have this final array now if you look at here it's minus 1 1 5 12 and 16 so now here swapping is not required so now swapping is done now swapping is done to make sure that to make sure that whether the final array is sorted or not we have to run one more time for loop we have to run one more time for loop to make sure that this final this final array i mean outcome after third iterations is right or not to check that we need to run one more time a for loop so if i run a for loop minus 5 greater i mean we need to run a for loop and we'll put a if conditions right to check that so if minus 5 greater than 1 no so 5 so there is no replacement 5 1 1 is not greater no replacement 5 12 so 5 is not greater no replacement 12 16 12 is not greater so no replacement now i don't have to do any things so <clears throat> now i don't have to run any for loop so if you look at the logic now all right this was my this was my array right when i run first time for loop this was by this was my output but after first time for loop again i uh, ran one more loop and after running one more loop what happened was uh, actually after the second iterations if you look at here this was the outcome right this was the outcome now after third iterations basically if you look at this was the outcome basically this was the outcome yeah so if i'll copy this so after third iterations basically this was the outcome right and after fourth iteration this is the outcome right so, so after first iteration this was the outcome after second iterations after second iteration basically this was the outcome so i'll make it red because you know it will be uniform across so this was the outcome after second iterations now after third iterations this was the outcome and this is my final iterations here you know uh, here i mean uh, like we don't have to change the index right so change is not required here here the change was not required right so I think now you can see that it is in one screen so it is easy for you guys you can see that you can correlate that so after first iteration this is the outcome after second iteration this is the outcome after third iteration this is the outcome and after fourth iteration this is the outcome right so basically if I will run if I will write only one for loop and if I will try to do this this will not serve my purpose 
this will not serve my purpose so what we need to do right what we need to do we need to run one more for loop we need to we need to do we need to run one more for loop right which will control this for loop right why i am saying that we need to write one more for loop because when we when we did first time iterations see my array was not sorted even after second time array was not sorted third time it was sorted right again fourth time it got sorted i mean we got surety so assume that you know even in third time assume that uh, instead of instead of minus 5 here if it was uh, some some other data right if it was some other data so if i will take one one more example instead of writing you know minus 5 uh, 1 and we just replaced minus 5 to 1 so what we would have done that instead of i assume that instead of year 1 it was some other data here so i assume that it was 10 here and 11 here right so 10 will come here 11 will come here again 11 5 i need to compare again 5 12 we need to compare and 12 16 we need to compare right so basically we need to understand we need to understand each element each element should be compared with remaining element right each element should be compared with remaining element so if i look at 5 this 5 should be compared with 1 12 minus 5 and 16 so basically it should get compared four times again this one should get compared with 5 12 minus 5 16 again this 12 should get compared with 5 1 minus 5 16 again this minus 5 should get compared with 5 1 12 16 and this 16 should get compared with 5 1 12 14 so basically four times any element since there is there is only five five uh, element in the array so it should get compared remaining four times right it should get compared with remaining a four element of the array right so <clears throat> how we will achieve that how this will get compared right how this will get compared so it should it should get compared four more times it should get compared four more times so what we need to do is uh, one one there should be there should be outer array and inside that so this should be outer array and inside that we have to write one more for loop one more for loop right inside that we need to write one more for loop this we can write here int j is equal to 0 and j less than array dot length array dot length minus 1 and j plus plus inside that inside that what i will do is i'll write my so inside this for loop there will be if conditions and inside this if conditions so now now what we need to do is we need to compare i with directly we can compare i with j right so j we can start with 1 j we can start with 1 why why i am starting j with 1 and i with 0 because i need to compare these two elements right so when i is equal to 0 which means this and j is equal to 1 which means this so that is the reason i am starting j with 1 and i with 0 right array dot length and if this is greater write a swipe write a swap log uh, swap logic right we need to write a swap logic now this program we need to convert into coding this program we need to convert into coding so hope hope concept is clear for you guys and hope uh, uh, you understood why we have to write two for loop why not only one for loop 
we have to write two for loop because your every element should get compared with other element so, and if I write, if you write only one for loop so every element will get compared with only neighbor element right so every element so if you write only one what is happening is 5 will get compared with 1 1 with 12 12 with minus 5 minus 5 with 16 only one time right and when you write one external for loop which will basically control the internal for loop so what happens is for i is equal to 0 which means i is equal to 5 i am running again a for loop right so my 5 the data 5 basically will will get compared with with all the data right and swapping will happen and swapping will happen so it will get compared with all the data so this my uh, 5 will get compared uh, j1 j2 j3 j4 all the data and uh, swapping will takes place right right so that's how it works now <clears throat> i think hope hope this is clear for you guys like how 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 the swap will work so when i is equal to zero this for loop will run how many times it will run full for loop i mean four uh, four times right so i is equal to zero which means five is equal to zero five will get compared with one so j is equal to one again j j become two so five will get compared with two so if it will get compared the swap will take place here right here swapping will take place right swapping will take place again uh, it will get compared with 12 minus 5 again when i is equal to 1 when i is equal to 1 then again the data at index 1 will get compared you know with every element of the array right so to do that we need to write to for loop now we'll start with the coding we'll start with the coding part coding part we will start with the coding part and we will see that how we need to code that so that is main important part no not this one Sorry. just wait a minute so where is my clips okay no issue So why why I took you know more time to explain you uh, like this thing because you know uh, we need to understand thoroughly otherwise you know it's like you have to mug up the project I mean mug up the program and then you know you'll always forget how to write the logic so I will write program just a name which I have given yes and what i will do is so just just a minute just a minute i'll just arrange that Mm. Okay. So I will just write one, you know, class. I'm just making a default package and write here bubble sort. Right? And I do want my main method okay so i have written now logic for the bubble sort so i have already explained you what we need to do and how we need to test so i can just write one method here public void and i can write here 
do bubble sort custom method and I can supply here integer type array and uh, just I can write one for loop one more for loop as what I have already explained to you and here I can write and I is equal to zero I less than array dot length plus plus right then here here again I can write like int j equal to zero j less than array dot length j plus plus right so these two for loop I can write and uh, so j I can start with one as I have already explained you I can write here one if conditions so in if my goal is I need to compare the first index if is greater than array j so if this is the case I need to write my swap logic right so I can just declare one variable here temporary so that I can store my data into the temporary variable so if this is a greater what I can do is I can store my data i and if this is uh, I mean let's say if i data is greater right which I have already shown to you if i is a greater so when when i is a greater again I will show to you here so when 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 i is a greater which means when 5 is a greater 5 we need to send uh, 5 we need to send here and 1 we need to send here so we need to swap it so when 5 is a greater what we need to do is we need to swap it so I can write here array i which means i value is greater so at i value I need to write j data I need to swap it and then what we need to write array j so where we have a j data we need to send the bigger value right we need to send the bigger value right so this is the logic this is the logic for bubble sort so this is the logic for the bubble sort now <coughs> assume that my array is ready now assume that my array is ready or I can do one more thing here is so okay so first first I will test that so I will make this as static and I will uh, write here one array so that you know I can test that so I can take one integer type array and uh, what I can do is I can make one array 5 6 9 11 3 and 2 so this is my array and I'm going to test that so since my method is oh, control jet so I just I need to do do I need to call the bubble sort because it's it's a do bubble sort I need to supply this array right so now what we need to do is we need to understand like how this array is getting sorted so uh, um, what we can do here is 
we can return the array here so after this for loop basically we return array so we can see that like how array looks like right change the method to return to type yeah since it was white so i'm changing to integer type just save this and this i will write in the sys row sorry sysro yeah and i will run that let's see what happens if i run that okay so it is printing it is printing like a object it is printing like a object no issue though it is a printing like a object no issue what i can do is uh, okay though this method is returning array what i can do is what i can do is i can do one more thing i can just write one method i can just write one method to print this array right so i can just write one method to print the array so i can write here public static void print array and this print array will will take an array type argument and nothing i will do here just i will write one for loop it's a very simple this is because just i need to print here i can write here in i is equal to 0 i less than input dot put dot length and i plus plus and then what we need to die just we need to that's why s o right so just we need to write s y s o and control space bar right and we can can write here input i just i can write here plus symbol can give a space and uh, control save after this for loop i can just write one new line that's it nothing else so this is this is my print logic right this is my print logic so what i'll do is uh instead of instead of returning this array i will i will call this method here so this will print that and here i don't have to write i don't have to write now return type because it's a void okay save and if i'll run this now let's see what happens if i run if i'll run this now so it is getting printed 2 11 9 6 5 3 it is getting printed 2 11 9 6 5 3 so here basically ln is not required now if i'll run this see so it's it is printing 2 11 9 6 5 3 which means if you look at that if you look at this this array is not sorted this array is not sorted interesting why this array is not set so sorted we need to understand here why this array is not sorted somewhere we are doing something wrong because it is saying that 2 11 9 6 5 3 it is not sorted okay so we need to go back to the logic and we need to understand the logic like what is happening what is happening here so what i did is i is equal to 0 array dot length right and then uh, what we are doing that is uh, j is equal to 
length and j plus plus so basically it should get sorted here 211 it is printing like uh, double sort array yeah I'm printing outside actually so print array should uh, print array should work here should not get printed like 211 and okay so we'll try to understand here logic we'll, we'll try to understand here so when when we are when we are calling this method with this array in i is equal to 0 i less than array length, uh, length plus 1 or i plus plus right j is equal to 1 j array dot length j plus plus so when array i when array i am checking that when array i is greater than array j right so we are just trying to compare that when array i is greater than array j then temp is equal to array i okay so take the data to the temporary variable and instead of array i you put a data of array j and instead of array j put the data of temp so this is fine this is perfectly fine now one second i will run this one more time that is printing 2 11 9 6 5 3 which is wrong absolutely now i became 1 and array dot length j plus plus okay i'll do one thing i'll just put a debug point here i'll debug that better somewhere we are writing wrong debug that this is better yes okay so what is i data geo and this is your array 5 6 9 11 2 right so i'll just do uh, i'll just press oh what this is one minute guys so this is mac and i am getting some problem because recently i got this so it's not windows system so i'm getting some issue so now uh, j is equal to 1 and length so it will just check so i is 5 j is equal to 6 yes so i think there is no changes yeah so came here now uh, if you look at the data so what is what is my j data now so j data here in it is showing 2 and i data it is showing 0 so what is j2 j2 is 6 and i is equal to sorry j2 is 9 and i is equal to 5 so i think no changes so even this time changes will not take place again when j3 so again there is no changes i think yeah because 11 5 no changes but for 3 clear changes should take place and so f6 now j is equal to 4 so what is 0 1 2 3 4 3 and i is equal to 5 so now changes will take place so it I, it will go inside what is what is the temp data now so temp is equal to 5 right temp is equal to 5 and uh, uh, j is equal to 4 so when we say j is equal to 4 which means 3 so what will happen now 3 will come go to the 5 position right so this 3 will go to this 5 positions and this 5 will come to the 3 positions so if i'll go f6 again so now if i'll show you the array see here 3 came here right and 5 came here so which means swapping is happening right swapping is happening now I'll just do F6. So it again it will go inside yes because it was two because why why it went inside because this two this two was getting compared was getting was getting compared uh, with with this two. No, not not these two. So actually, I pressed F six. I would have shown before you. So uh, what what was the last data? 
so basically uh, this two got compared with three actually so two is going there and three will come and three will come at the end now I can show you see three is came here right so this is after first iterations now now this internal for loop we will break now this internal for loop will break see again came to the external for loop so after first iteration this is your array now again it will start now this i value became 1 now this i value became 1 so if i'll do f6 see here if you'll check out the uh, if you'll check the i value now i became 1 so what is array 1 array 1 is 2 now 2 will get compared with other data Six. and what is j j is also one right so and here if you look at here i is one j is one so what happens here i is one j is equal to one so what happens here is your the data the i data two which will get compared with uh so two when when that is two one two okay so two will get compared with two. yes this is the logic issue here is the logic because in second iterations what is happening is i and j data becoming one right i and j data becoming one so this is our logic issue and that's where this i mean here we need to work on that here we need to work on that this is our logic issue this here we need to see like how we will handle that because what is happening is now i and j both became 2 2 but again this should not cause the issue 2 will compare with 2 and it will not go inside but usually what it should do it should compare with the next element right so it should always compare with the next elements so what i can do is instead of writing here j is equal to 1 i can write here j always this actually this should be always more than you know if i shall write here i plus 1 this sounds good right because in that case what will happen this j value will never similar to the i value and your iteration will take place so if I'll, if I'll run this see here sorting is happening 2 3 5 6 9 11 correct 2 3 5 6 so this is the sorted array sort is, sorting is happening here array is getting sorted now array is getting sorted your sorting is happening right so what was the issue guys the issue was I was keeping i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 1 so when i was keeping j is equal to 1 there will be a there will be a time when i will be also 1 j will be also 1 and since it is a same array we will try to compare i1 with array 1 with array 1 again you know there will be a time where when i will i is equal to 3 this data will be 3 j will be 3 so again what will happen it will try to compare array of 3 with you know array of j to avoid that what i did is i am starting j is equal to i plus 1 so when i will do j is equal to i plus 1 so always there will be a situations where j value will be always greater than the i value the starting j value will be greater than the i value and now when i will run this run this program the data is getting printed see it is 2 3 5 6 9 11 so array is getting sorted so whenever you guys have any doubt what you can do is you can put a debug point here you can put a debug point here and we can just try to understand before that i will explain you how this is working all right so to explain you what i can do is i can copy this print array for you guys i can copy this print array just do control x and I will write here what? 
Doctor. I can just write here I duration so that you guys will understand what I'm trying to say that now what I will do is where I will write this it's we save that I will run the see here right now I think this is this is pretty clear for you guys you can understand here like how you know how iteration is happening so what is after first iterations so when internal internal for loop will run till the length of the array when internal for loop will run till the length of the array after that first iterations again when i is equal to 1 again internal uh, loop will run till length again i is equal to 2 internal for loop will run till length when i is equal to 3 internal for loop will run till length when i is equal to 4 internal for loop will run till the length and this is how the outcome is so you can see here after 0 iterations this was the sorting so after 0 what happened is so a starting array was 5 6 9 11 3 2 so i can i can print here s y s o this i, I can print here also so so that you guys will understand here original array right so this was the original array so basically this is the original array now if i will run this it is very easy to understand so this is the original array and after original array after zero iterations what happened is 5 came to 5 uh, came to here here right and uh, 2 came to beginning so after first iterations what happened is uh, if you look at here carefully 6 this 6 went to here right 3 came here so after this what happened is basically 5 came here 9 went here and here what happened is so your 6 came here 11 came here then after 4 iterations what happened is uh, your 9 came here 11 came here and in 5th iterations nothing happened right so hope this is clear for you guys and you guys you guys will understand how to do bubble sort and what is what is the you know concept of bubble sort and how bubble sorting works right thank you for watching this video if you like this video please hit like button please subscribe my channel okay and i will show you my youtube playlist so that you know you guys can easily understand right and you can watch the video <coughs> So this is my basically channel and you will go to my playlist right here here are my playlists right here are my playlist this is my web services selenium test ng sibling concepts and uh, and where is my programming video yeah core job of programming so as of now i have made you know one two three four five five programs right so so i'll be i'll be uploading my program to here and these all programs is very important for you know selenium uh, selenium people who, whoever is looking for job and job change right this program is very very important so thank you for watching this right just close this Just close this night. Where is my controller? So
ਹੈ ਸਾਰੇ